Welcome to Devil's Backbone. It's Larimer County Open Space. From the trailhead in Loveland, you get a glimpse of the rock formations. I'm hitting the trail with some friends and we're hiking the Wild Loop. There's a great trail system that follows the geology, um, geologic feature. Um, that's a pretty iconic feature in Loveland. We start out by cottonwoods that provide a shady spot for a picnic. Cross a bridge, up a couple of stairs, and hike into wide open space with the tall grass swaying in the breeze as the foothills roll into the mountains to the west. I notice the ground changes quickly in color and consistency. Of course, sir, it's a little bit different. This is the Entrada formation. We were at the Lichens formation, um, and the Entrada is just this little tiny section, and we're about to hike up into the Morrison formation. We hike on through this next layer, distinctly marked by its reddish color. You're walking where the dinosaurs once walked, so that's pretty cool. The tall grass that lines the trail is called feral rye. It's not native to the area. The first year that I've seen it along the trails here at Devil's Backbone. From this vantage point, you can really see how the rock formations shoot out of the ground and really do look like a spine. Some of the rocks even look like vertebrae. I'm noticing the rocks changed again. They're more kind of a gray color now. Yes, yeah, so this is the Morrison formation uh, that we find a lot of the fossils. It's really cool to see several different rock layers in a relatively small area. Yeah, they're packed in, and because of the tilt of Devil's Backbone, a lot more are exposed. And we see a lot more wild sage. The Native Americans believe that the smoke from these um, dried sage bundles would cleanse the air of any bad spirits. We arrive at the keyhole. Okay, you guys have seen this a bunch of times. Does it ever get old? Of course, I had to venture into the keyhole for a better look of the view that includes Long's Peak. But there's a lot to see in the rock. It's called the Dakota Group, so we have a lot of different variations. It's also cool to see the lichen growing on and the plants growing out of the rocks. As we hike down to the lower part of the loop, it's definitely worth taking a look back to soak up the rugged beauty of the rocks, vegetation, and trail and enjoy the beauty of Devil's Backbone. Then continue on down the trail and make our way back to the patch of cottonwoods where the wild loop starts.